What the running sports are kind of tough to take as a kid. Um, it's very hard to, to find that inner person that's going to put you through the pain and drive you to run many, many, many miles, you know, over all kinds of terrain. So I learned at a young age as a coach to, um, to try to make it as interesting as possible, take their mind off of the pain and the, the running that they're doing. So we started playing games, doing all kinds of different things to take their minds off um, what they're doing, like maybe scavenger hunts or something like that. I'll put clues all around town and they have to work their way from clue to clue <laughs> and we'll have popsicles for them at the end. If they make it, if they find it all the way to the end, then we'll give them a popsicle or something like that. Um, for doing sprint workouts and things like that, we take, um, these plastic sleds, winter plastic sleds, and we put them out on the track and I made these harnesses that they put around them and we have races with the with the harnesses and the sleds. So they're getting in that position and they're working really hard and they don't know it. You trick them into doing the work and it's, it's you know, it's a lot of fun. It takes their mind off of what they're doing, yet they get trained really well by doing that stuff. And when we come inside for indoor things, we take these uh, buffing pads that we use on the floor and we throw those down and we have two lines of kids and they, they rotate through, one kid pulls the other kid down the other end, <laughs> and then they switch and they pull them back. And so we race, we call them chariots, and we do chariots on that kind of stuff. But all kinds of games like capture the flag, um, we play uh, kick the can, we play ultimate frisbee. You know, usually on Fridays when we're having a light day anyways, uh, it just gives them a little fun. One time, because uh, I'm the tech teacher, I turned out 10 bowling pins. And so we got some um, volleyballs and we, we took them out there and while half the team was playing ultimate frisbee, the other half was bowling, you know. So just all kinds of different things to, uh, you know, we, we, put them, we put them opposite directions and send them on a perimeter run and we, we give them a card and they have to find the other kid with that same card and when they find them, they run back with them. Or we play, we do Kenya Day is the big one. Kenya Day, we run 20 hills of Tully. We run up and down the hills and uh, it's brutal. It's a, it's a brutal, brutal workout. I have a deck of cards. I give them a card at the top. The first two guys to me get two cards. Everybody else gets one card. If they really work, I give them an, a bonus card. And then after five hills, we play poker and we look at the hand and we see who's the best and they get to sit the next hill out. And then we go around through the 20 hills. And some kids never win. They, they just don't get the cards. You know, that's the way it yeah, is. Yeah. But they still, they, they do their workout. So lately, some of the kids have been denying cards. When they want to put an extra work, they say, no, I don't want a card this time. I want to do it just for the sheer joy. So as soon as you can get that into their spirit mm -hmm. where they're pushing from the inside out, it's, you, you're golden. You got it all done.